What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, cat through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply that fly, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. Okay, it's 7.17 p.m. 12-24-2022. Happy Christmas Eve if you celebrate. Happy holiday holidays if you celebrate. Um, I received another channeling, so we're going to do it. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, someone has intentionally been keeping someone stuck for many years, I heard, for many years. But I heard, uh, through many shocking series of chain of events, they're actually about to help them um, get their stolen money back, their stolen property back, and help them uh, help them break free of toxicity because I heard it's not because they care. It's because they're experiencing huge chaos in their own life. And it's because they have intentionally kept this person stuck. It's a fem energy they kept stuck. Okay, it's a heart. It's a fem energy they kept stuck. So you can be the fem energy they kept stuck intentionally i heard for many years so i'm thinking three or three plus years um i feel the person that kept you stuck could be a masculine or femme you plug in how it resonates but they intentionally kept you stuck femme energy for i'm thinking three or three plus years because i heard many so but it's not because they're about to help you get your money your property and free you from toxicity basically but it's not because they care about you it's because they're experiencing chaos in their own life. So just know that if this ends up resonating for you, because it hasn't happened yet. So if this ends up happening and resonating for you, Fem Energy, just know whoever's about to help you get unstuck, it's not because they care. Not empathetic, sympathetic, sympathetic loving, caring, kind. They intentionally kept you stuck. So obviously not. It's because they're experiencing chaos in their own life. So just know that, okay? Wow, this is some shit. And they're going to continue to experience chaos. Made a huge ass bed. And they're going to continue to experience chaos. They made a huge ass bed. So they're going to help you get free. Get your money back, your property, your properties back. And release you from some kind of toxicity. Or help you release you from some kind of toxicity. It's not because they really care about you. Just know that. But they have made their own huge ass bed and um they're going to experience continue to experience chaos whoever this person is i feel this could be a mask or a fem but they're about to help you get your money property back or properties back and um get release you from some kind of toxicity uh that's good for you so you you this is some shit man people just need to leave people alone hashtag live free if anybody needs to hear that I heard take it. We have love reverse number 47 to be very significant number one five number 47 love reverse. They saw you as a huge ass money train in the past and you were to them. But now keeping you stuck is causing them chaos. Huge chaos because people know what they've done to you. Okay, so yeah, they don't, it's not coming from a loving, caring heart space. Um, they saw you as money train. So they have no love for you. Just know this. Um, I think they might try to come in as the hero um, soon. Oh, sorry, that's my stomach. They might try to come in as the hero soon, but they really don't love you. Um, they really don't because they saw you as a huge ass money train in the past. So they see you as a piece of property or value or valuable as like dollar signs in their eyeballs so it's not coming from a heart space but they're experiencing chaos in their own life and that's why they're about to help you so the, i don't think they're a loving person um i think they look at things as money makers people as money makers like human slavery um or just money 
focused all the time. Like they don't operate from a, a heart space. And you need to have a balance. You need to have a balance. You need to operate from heart space and be able to make money. And that's just the truth. They were extremely cruel and disrespectful to you in the past, but they have they have experienced cruelty and disrespectfulness to them already, and they will continue. Okay, so Fem Energy, if this resonates for you, they were extremely cruel and disrespectful to you in the past. So love reverse. They were not loving, not caring, not kind. That's the cruel and disrespectful energy towards you in the past, ma'am. Um, by keeping intentionally keeping you stuck, stealing from you or helping someone steal from you, money, property, asset, assets, and um, intentionally keeping you stuck, which is terrible. Um, but they have experienced cruelty and disrespectfulness to them already in the energetic space, past energy. And I heard they're going to continue in the futuristic energy. So, uh, but I think that might be another reason why they're about to start. Um, helping you but the thing is is i think they come off as a love a disrespectful unkind person because they were that way towards you so um they walk around like they're better than everybody else and it's about to backfire on them in a huge way okay i heard they walk around like they're better than everybody else it's about to backfire on them in a huge way yeah this is terrible Um, very egotistical place. They walk around like they're better than everybody else. And you can't do that. I don't care if you have a dollar in the bank account or $10 million in the bank account. You should never walk around like you're better than anybody else because that is a place of ego. Um, and that's just the truth. I don't care if you have $1 in the bank account or $10 million. Gra um, Grace, upright, number 49, can be a very significant number in one's life, number 49. They put serious black magic on you in the past. Serious. Okay, I just heard take them. That's magic reverse. They uh, put serious black magic on you in the past. Serious. So they put black magic on you in the past, ma'am. So they put dark arts on you in the past. They had no love, showed no love, no caring, no sympathy for you in the past. Very unsympathetic and empathetic um, in the past. Um, and help either they either stole your money and property or properties or help somebody steal your money property or properties intentionally keeping you stuck and put black magic on you i mean that's just doing the damn most and that's just the truth but they're about to help you soon but it's but just know it's because they're experiencing chaos in their own life grace upright number uh, number 49 can be very significant number one's life number 49 By the grace of God, you're about to get out of this through many shocking series of chain of events. Okay, I heard by the grace of God, you're about to get out of this uh, through many shocking series of chain of events. And there's at least two of these people. One of these people is a very cold, older feminine energy. She's about to find her husband having an affair on a dining room table with a maid. Oh my God Almighty! Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! There's at least two of them. There's at least two that intentionally kept you stuck, stole, uh, either stole your money, helped somebody steal your money, property, property, etc., etc., etc. You're supposed to be a very wealthy woman, ma'am, and that's just the truth. But they don't want you to know this, but you are. You're supposed to be. But there's at least two of them. One is a older, 35, 36 or above, very cold hearted cold person with a love reversed energy fem energy she's legally married and i heard uh, she's about to find her husband having sex with the maid on on the dining room table um so i think that's about to, what's about to prompt this um <laughs> you plug it in how it resonates wow they're about to be doing it like rabbits 
Oh my God. They're about to be doing it like rabbits. Doing it like rabbits. Like, whoa. <laughs> well, um, if you're legally single, you can do it like rabbits, but these people are legally married. But um, I'm not getting into that. I'm legally single. That's all that matters. But she's legally married and she's about to find her legally married husband doing it like rabbits with the, with his maid or her maid or somebody's maid on a dining room table. Um, I think that's what's about to prompt one of these situations because there's at least two with the grace of God energy. And for one of them, they're healing from an STD, but it's actually about to get worse. A lot worse. And they're about to get a huge-ass wake-up call. Okay, and one of these people, because there's at least two. So one, we got the affair, older femme energy, cold old femme energy, and uh, married uh, her husband, about to find dual light bunnies on the dining room table. That's one. For another one, they're healing from an STD, but I heard... Um, so it's sexually transmitted to disease, but I heard basically it's actually about to get worse. It's about to get a lot worse. Even with medications. It's about to get a lot worse, even with medications. So you plug it in how it resonates. So grace of God, you're about to get out of this, ma'am. That's really what matters. You're about to get out of this. Um, this is sick. This is sick. And for one, they're about to find out a staff member of a church is having sex with a teenager in their family. It's about to give them such a huge wake-up call. Oh, my God. And for one of them, they're about to find out. Uh, oh, my God. That's terrible. For one of them, they have a teenager family member. There's at least three. One has a teenager family member, and I heard they're about to find out their teenager family member is having sex with an administrative staff in, a, I guess, their church or somebody else's church. That's why I don't go to churches. They're too culty, and that's just the truth. Churches are too culty. Of course, everybody has their own free will and um, preferences, but that's why I don't, because they're too damn culty. I don't like churches. I've been spiritual for about five years now. I will never go back to another church, and that's just the truth. But for one of them, um, they have a teenager family member and they're about to find out their teenager family member is having sex with an administrative staff of their church or the child's church or somebody's church. Administrative staff. That could be a pastor. That could be a choir member. Well, I don't know. No, not a choir member. Administrative staff. So secretary or a pastor, assistant pastor, or like a youth pastor or something of that nature somebody's getting paid they're getting paid physical money to help run the church basically Woo! enlightenment upright yeah they're about to find this out number 19 could be very significant number of one's life number 19 it's about to wake these people up in such huge ways Okay, enlightenment, awakening. It's about to wake these people up in such huge ways. And you're about to get your prosperity, ma'am. Uh, number five could be very significant number in one's life. Number 19 or five could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 19 or five. Prosperity. You're about to get your prosperity. Your money, property, or properties, or what have you, what have you. You're supposed to be a very wealthy woman. Very wealthy. Passage with happiness. Forty-seven could be very significant numbers. Number forty or seven. This is about to make you very, 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 very happy. Very happy. This is about to make you very, 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 very happy. Very happy. And when this occurs, a water sign masculine of your past is going to try to come back. This would not be smart. Not be smart. Okay, I heard it's going to make you very, very, very happy, ma'am. I mean, you've got prosperity, passage, and happiness, yeah. Um, some kind of barrier is about to be, these people are about to have wake-up calls. Barriers about to be broken to the point that they're about to basically give you back what should have been yours all along, basically. Um, it's going to make you very happy. 
And a lawsuit will occur from this. Know this. And a lawsuit will occur from this. Know this. So there's going to be some kind of lawsuit occur from this. It could be from this, or it could be from you, or from something else. Some kind of lawsuit in here. Um, you're about to be happy. You're about to get your stuff back, which you should. Now, who's about to help you get it back? Whether these people provide information, or the police help you, or feds help you, or whoever. Somebody's about to help you. Maybe it's a private investigator. I'm not sure. Or a bounty hunter. or Well, not a bounty hunter, but somebody is. But this, these things are about to prompt these people about to either provide information or help you in some shape, form, or fashion. Maybe I feel for some, they might have stolen your stuff. And this is their negative karma they're reaping. But you plug it in how it resonates. But they're definitely about to get some wake-up calls, I'll tell you that, right now. That's, I mean, but that's what they get for stealing people's stuff. And that's just the truth. I mean, you shouldn't be going around hurting or harming people. And theft is hurting and harming people. And that's just the damn truth. But whoever you are, Fem Energy, I heard a water sign masculine in your past. Once this happens for you and you get your stuff back, uh, uh, basically a water sign masculine of your past is going to try to come back. I heard it would not be smart. Of course, you have the free will to allow him in your life if you want. But I heard it wouldn't be smart. Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine in your past. He could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio and a Sun Moon Rising Venus Ortho and Benet with Jupiter charts. Heard it would not be smart. You know who this person is. It would not be smart. Okay, I heard you know who this person is. It would not be smart. That's double deuces confirmation. You know, of course you have free will to allow him back. But was he around in your hard times? I'm just throwing that out there. Probably not. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day and namaste.